What's up guys and welcome back to another video. It's been a while since we upload, uploaded on Rollercoaster Lover, but today is the day we are back to uploading. I decided to take a little break from Rollercoaster Lover because I was busy producing for my other channel, M Train Vids. I also been taking a tiny I've also been taking a break at Emerald Lux Ruffany. I do plan to start uploading in that channel two uploads every uh two two uploads a day. Um, only on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays on that channel. So, yeah. Um, this channel also has a new uploading pattern. And, of course, M Train Ridge is going to stay random like it always has because I don't know if I'm real penning or not or whatever. But, yeah. Um, so this channel, excuse, this is probably going to be a longer intro than usual. Um, but, new upload schedule on Rollercoaster Lover 2. Since I've really been focusing on M Train Vids, because since that channel's growing like mad right now, which is very good, I've been focusing on that channel, getting some videos out constantly on that channel every day or every few, every other day or every two or every three days. That's the pattern I've been doing on that channel. Now, there will be a break on that channel for this week, and then we plan to have some new videos out on that channel on. Saturday next weekend or Friday night depends if I want to uh, if I want to edit Friday night after Ralph any but yeah probably Saturday is the high chance but back on to this channel um so the new uploads schedule in this channel is going to be Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday Sunday so there's not going to be any uploads on Tuesdays or Thursdays in this channel anymore so I just want to let you guys know about that um we also are going to be having a few new series coming in which one is starting today, as you saw by the title. Let's get right into it. So, this new series is the Roller Coaster Lover Newsroom series. So, I'm going to be telling you the latest theme park news. Now, we have a lot of stuff, a lot of news to cover today since we haven't really been, since I haven't uploaded in a little bit. Lots of stuff has happened regarding Wicked Twister at Cedar Point. Um, we have opening dates revealed for Iron Gwazi and Pantheon. Iron Gwazi at Busch Gardens, uh, Busch Gardens Tampa, and Pantheon at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. So, yeah, we have that. Um, so, yeah. So, first, we're going to start off with a pretty notable thing if you've been watching Cedar Point. Now, as you guys remember, back in September, they revealed that they, are, that they were going to remove Wicked Twister from the park. Um... It's getting completely removed, just so that you guys know. It's getting scrapped, um, which is sad, but I still have V2 at... Well, it's not a V2 anymore at Great America. It's going to be The Flash, I believe, this summer. So, yeah. I still have that. I still have an Intimate and Impulse. Dorney Park has one, and Valley Fair has one, I believe, too. Wait, no. Michigan's... Valley Fair or Michigan's Adventure. I have no idea what the heck's happening. But you have Possessed at Dorney Park, and... Steel Venom. Steel Venom. I, I, I honestly don't know what I'm thinking. But you guys can go figure that yourself. But yeah. Wicked Twister has been completely demolished. It is gone now. Which is a big story that's been happening all over the roller coaster enthusiast community. So yeah. Wicked Twister completely gone. Both towers. They put. They recorded the, the first spiral collapsing down to the ground that was pretty intense to watch i actually got some tears in my eyes watching that but yeah um so that's that wicked twister completely removed removed at cedar point um we also have um another big story that's that happened like a few weeks ago maybe a month ago we had an arson owner at a theme park burn down a historical roller coaster that was protected but he decided to commit arson. I believe he is now facing court. Now, we'll get right into that in a second. Um, I have some stuff I need to look at quickly. Oh, yeah. So, we have a lot of other stuff coming up, too. So, that's that. So, Blue Streak at Kanye Lake Park got arsoned by the owner. We believe got arsoned by the owner. Now, that roller coaster is protected. That old coaster was coming up on 100 years. It might have been over 100 years. I believe it's come, just coming up on 100 years. So, yeah. I don't know what's that owner's problem, but I know he's been getting a ton of hate for that and a lot of threats towards him. 
Now I don't threaten people, so I haven't been giving him threats. I've been commenting on their videos saying this dude's an idiot and he definitely needs to be in the courtroom. But yeah, so you have the Arson Blue Street roller coaster, historical roller coaster at Canny Lake Park. Okay, so now over to the UK, we have a big announcement coming out of Olten Towers. Nemesis is set to get the same treatment as Incredible Hulk did at Islands of Adventure. So I think we're, we're Nemesis is about to get completely retracked at Alton Towers, which is going to be amazing. Um, I'm going to read the story right now to you guys. So Nemesis is one of Alton Towers' most popular rides. The B&M roller coaster, which opened in 1994, is an iconic attraction at the top of UK theme park and is much loved by Alton Towers fans. There have been rumors in the last couple of years that Nemesis may be in for a much needed overhaul, and it has now come to our attention that Alton Towers put an application to Staffordshire Moreland District Council on January 21st, 2021 for major work on this roller coaster. The application seems to involve the replacement of the majority of the track with lift hill and station appearing to be kept intact as well as the supports. The layout is not expected to change in any way. The likely reason for this is stated by Screamscape is to fill the track piece with sand which is now a common method of making roller coasters, roller co the coaster run quietly. We are now also guessing that with its 30 year birthday coming up in 2024 that the track is also in need of replacing due to wear and tear. To see the full application which at, is listed at having a diminution required date as March 18, 2022, visit the Staffordshire Moreland's District Council website. This will be a major overhaul of this beloved B&M coaster which shares similarities with when, it, when Universal completely rebuilt Incredible Hulk Coaster at Islands of Adventure in 2016, which is also being a coaster. All fans of Nemesis will hope will be hopeful that the, this track replacement will enhance the ride experience rather than hinder it. So yeah, that's very interesting. I do agree. I, I do believe that is kind of needed. So yeah. Next up, we have the official opening date announced for Pantheon. Now, credit to ThemeParkTours.com. That's where I'm getting all your information for this series. I credit you guys. Thank you for your information. Now, let's read about Pantheon's opening date announced. Originally planned for an opening in 2020 and then delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic to 2021 and now 2022. We have finally, we have a, a official opening date for Pantheon at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Thanks to a tweet from Busch Gardens Williamsburg, we know that the certain pa for certain Pantheon will open on March 25th, 2022. Pass holders have been advised to check their emails as they should have the, the chance to ride early. When it opens, it will be the world's fastest multi-launch coaster with top speed of 73 miles per hour. The coaster will stand at 180 feet tall and send riders down a 95 degree drop. Now this is the Busch Gardens treat tweet itself. The Roman gods have spoken. Pantheon, la Pantheon officially launches into the record books March 25th, 2022. Riders will experience four launches, five airtime hills, and a much like icebreaker which opening Sea Road which is opening at SeaWorld Orlando in February. Riders will send the tower backwards to so only fall back down and to gain speed to climb the main hill. Busch Gardens, will, Busch Gardens released an official POV of the long-awaited attraction back in November 2021, which is embedded below. So, yeah. We now have that opening date for, um, we have that opening date for that. Now, now we have the opening date announced for Iron Gwazi at Busch Gardens, Tampa. The towering coaster Iron Gwazi has been st sitting dormant since 2020, apart from when it had its weekly ha has its weekly testing. 
Originally slated to open in 2020, but delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we officially have news of exactly when this very long-awaited roller coaster will open at Busch Gardens Tampa. It was announced on the Busch Gardens Tampa Twitter account that Iron Glassy will open on Friday, March 20, March 11th, 2022. Here's the reading of their exact treat, tweet themselves. Taking it to another level, indeed, get ready for Iron Glossy's grand opening. It's March 11th, but but why wait until then? Past members and fun card fun card holders will be among the first to ride. Learn more about this record-breaking coaster at that website. So yeah, that's basically how this series is gonna work. We're gonna cover some news that's happened over the past week or so. Now that's all the major news. I know there's been some news involving uh, Disney and some other stuff, Universal, there's been some news for that. But yeah, we're not gonna cover that because we can't cover everything. We have to cover the main stuff because yeah. Everyone's enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm so glad to be back on this channel and I'll see you next time. By the way, no upload tomorrow, even though I'm supposed to upload on Sundays. Um, the new schedule will officially start on Monday. See you guys then.